Hello, my name is Caleb Shu, and today I'm going to take you through the design and manufacturing process of the headphone stand. Gaming for me has become a very important hobby, and I wanted to build a headphone stand to protect the thing that I value most, my headset. I wanted to protect it from falls, and I also wanted to protect the cord. Unlike most headphone stands on Amazon, I wanted to build a spot where I could keep my controller as well. However, controllers change per console, and as a new console comes out, that means the controller might be different, and that might not make this work. So I wanted to build my controller holder as a modular design, which allows removal, redesign, and then reattachment. The first operation was to cut the stock for the plywood base. I then proceeded to cut three circles from the stock, and then I needed to cut notches into them. Only two of them needed notches, but I ended up making a mistake and cut a third notch. This was okay because I just put it all on the bottom on the opposite side so it didn't interfere with the 2x4. Then I glue all three circles together, with the top two having their notches line up. I used a lot of glue to ensure these would stay together. If I had a bandsaw, I would have glued the rectangular stock together and then cut a single circle for a more precise base. For the top of the stand, I wanted to use a finger joint, as this reduces the amount of fasteners in the project. This entire project is done without nails or screws, and only uses joints and glue. To keep my headset in place, even on uneven ground, I used the jigsaw to cut out a groove on top. To create the controller holder, I marked the correct dimensions on the side of the board and used relief cuts to get as close to the square as possible. The stand needs a 2x2 square hole to hold the controller holder. I started by drilling a 1 inch hole while this material was on top of an extra piece of wood to reduce blowout. I finished cutting the square hole with the jigsaw using relief cuts. Overall, the precision of this build is lacking. There are a lot of non-square cuts, however it manages to do exactly what it was designed for, and I am happy. Here I'm going to demonstrate the uh, modularity and the use of the headphone stand. Uh, this piece slides in and then this holds it in place. It can be removed and then reattached later. The controller goes in like that and the headphones go on. 